Hi friends, it's teacher Hillary. We are going to do a Jackson Pollock inspired art project from our book, Action Jackson. So remember they have a reproduction of the painting, Lavender Mist. What do you see? See a lot of lines, splatters. What colors do you see? There, white, and black, and tan, and pink, and green. Probably more colors when you see it in person. So for this project, we're not gonna do a huge painting like Jackson Pollock and splash paint, but we're gonna do something a bit more manageable. Need a sheet of art paper, a piece of string, some paints, some, oops, some water, and I also, I'm using a paper plate and a brush. The paper plate will be my palette and the brush is to help get the paint out of the containers. All right, so we're gonna use the string to make our painting. We will put paint on our palette and dip the string in and then put it on our paper. Okay, let's get started. So I've put down a drop cloth, it's black plastic, and I have a towel as well. So first we're going to take some of our paint. I'm gonna start with the white because it's the lightest color and scoop out the paint and put it on our palette. I'm using a paintbrush and a palette because that's what I have. But if you have a larger container of paint, you can dip the string directly in it. Now I'm getting some water to make the paint a bit more pliable. So mix the paint with the water. And you can use any color you want. Then rinse off your brush, put it on your paper. Now you're gonna take your string, and you're gonna put it in the paint. And then put as much in as you want. You can soak up the paint like that. Now you're going to take that and press it on your canvas or on your piece of paper. Okay. Now the white's not really showing up because it's so light. So now we're gonna pick another color. I think I'll pick maybe blue. So I'm gonna take some blue paint and put it on my canvas or on my palette, excuse me. Now I'm gonna add some water and mix it up. See, 
out some of the, the blue paints a little lighter in some areas because it mixed with the white paint that was already there. Okay. Now once you have your blue paint and water mixed, you can bring our paper over. And now I'm going to take my string and dip it in again and then put it on the paper. Press it down and press it down again. And I'm going to keep adding. Let this soak up or absorb more paint. Maybe add some more. And it's okay to have thick globs of paint. Remember our story said that it took at least a week for Jackson Pollock's paintings to dry. Hopefully yours won't take a week. I think because we're using temper paint and watercolor, it'll take maybe a few hours. Okay. No, I feel pretty good about these colors. Maybe I'll add a little more. A little more blue. All right. Now I'm gonna take my towel, clean off my palette a little to allow myself to use it again. What color should I use next? How about red? So I'm going to use some red. Okay. Move this out of the way. And I think I put a bit, maybe a little too much water last time. So let's scoop out the red paint. I wonder what happens if I don't add any water. Let's see. Hmm, is that a different color? Yeah, it kind of looks like, kind of looks like purple. Okay, now we'll dip on our painting. Oh, it doesn't really stick without. Okay, ooh, what color is emerging? Oh, look. Okay. Another option would be to go into this with a toothbrush to get some splatters. Okay, so I have some black paint now. We're gonna get our string, get it messy, get it covered in paint, and
pair. We have it, my friends. Jackson Pollock inspired art. See what you can do with the string and what kind of lines you can create. Okay, my friends, that's it for our art project. I hope you enjoyed it and have a most excellent rest of your Tuesday. Goodbye.